Hi everyone, I hope you can hear me. Sorry, I'm in my hiding place reading some book about and other books that I'm working on. But uh, spirits keep nudging my spirit, and I'm like, can't wait <laughs> until I go outside. Although I like it here, so he knows I'm planning to stay here for a while, or at least until they close. And I'm talking like this because I'm kind of hiding because I don't know, like wearing my mask here, but right now there's like nobody. So anyways, there's a message for someone. <sighs> like somebody's really like on my energy. Anyways, the message is um, somebody feels really bad. Okay, somebody feels really bad really they're in their head they're in their feelings because they lost their opportunity with you they chose someone else or something like that and i feel like they feel there's some type of agony or tormented or something like that and i don't know they they made their bed and they don't want to lay in it that's basically it it's trying me to show you my dress i have this cute little dress in my mask which is interesting and similar to the color of this book. Anyway, sorry, I'm being distracted. But, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, Holy Spirit is saying, whoever you are, just focus on yourself. Um, something probably that was being revealed to you or your person. Because don't think for a second that it's not just you who get downloads or get dreams or intuition about the situation. Um, okay, I didn't want to talk about that, but. Anyways, there is a divine masculine right now who can say no to people, and especially this karmic. This karmic, it's on his ass all the time. Like, I'm already feeling so drained already by even talking about it. That's why I'm like reading and reading. I'm like, oh my god, I need to. There's a divine masculine, whoever you are, you need to have some boundaries, okay? I'm not even in your situation, and I'm already feeling tired by listening to this person. This is kind of resonant with some of you. This person calls you FaceTiming all the fucking time. They don't have a fucking life. They don't go to school. They don't have a job. I don't know what the fuck. They don't have a life, okay? They need to get a hobby. They need to do something. And they're codependent on your ass, right? You want to move on with your life. You want to work some things. You want to have some more space. But I feel like this person, you're really nice, okay? This divine masculine is really nice, very kind. He doesn't want to hurt this person's feelings or something like that. Also, it's like the sex is, I don't know why he's saying, okay, fine, the sex sucks, right? You're s you're sticking to this person because you're afraid also, like, you don't want to date other people because you know this person is clean, right? But this person is karmic, right? Also, your libido doesn't go anywhere, like, you're just staying stuck with this person because you don't want to change, right? You're stuck in your ways. But you're tormenting yourself because you also are attracted to another person who is your divine feminine who you can't stop thinking about it like your energy is all over the collected whoever you, this divine masculine you are but right now you're staying stuck in a karmic situation because you don't want to break this person's feelings but by you not saying by you not changing by you not cutting the shit off because it is trash it is shit somebody who's calling you like this person I'm seeing someone like they're trying to do their work or something like that or like maybe you're in school or you are uh, you're working on a project or you're doing a new project in a job or something I don't know that you're trying to live your life you know like this is why codependency sucks man like don't be codependent if you're in a relationship you're codependent like this person are constantly calling you jealous as fuck karmic as fuck okay like you don't have a fucking life right your friends like you can't hang out with friends this person is jealous as fuck you or others of you this person is into witchcraft heavy witchcraft and you don't understand why some things are distorted for you like some things are not working out also that too your finances are fucked like and even when you have sex with this person something happens to your finances something happens like spirit i don't know why i'm being guided to say this but you need to cut this off this is why nothing is growing for you that is a dead seed he's saying it's dead weed you're watering a dead plant not even you're not watering any plant because there's no growth there right also this person uh likes to talk about other people 
likes to criticize other people, gossip about other people, and they don't talk about shit. Like they, they could be just calling you all day long. They could be clinky as fuck. Maybe you are into that, you know. But this is not the healthy clingy. Like they called you twenty four seven. They want to talk to you, know where you are, what were you doing, twenty four seven. They don't care what you're doing. Like let's say you take it, you want to take a shit. Some of you are showing me like even in the bathroom, like this person. But you can't say no to like what? You need to create boundaries, man. Karmic as fuck. This could be someone younger than you. I don't know. Maybe they're younger or something. I don't know. Or maybe they're older. I don't know. This person, this, I'm seeing a female, but a very, very toxic female, okay? But also they're doing witchcraft. So they're trying to see if their witchcraft is working. To They're doing love spells on you. They're doing stuff like, by the way, they know who your divine person is. That's why they can't, they can't let you go. They're codependent on your energy or dependent on you. It's really fucked up. <sighs> is that it, spirit? I don't know. You get in signs everywhere. You get in confirmations everywhere. My reading, the one with the universe, is showing me. Go check that one out. If you have cancer or Leo in your chart, all those of you I'm seeing as a Pisces, could be a Virgo. Anyways, I'm gonna finish the signs when I finish. What it got me to do some research here with my online courses that I'm working on. Okay. Um, yeah man like that's not life that's not a good relationship that is not living you can't even have alone time with yourself like to, to think about stuff and that too like whenever you have that little time of alone you think about somebody else you're creating more karma debt for yourself whoever you are like why why you're seeking out and that too is like it's showing me that you don't think you're good enough for the other person that you're thinking about so that's why you stick to this low vibrational energy also you need to cleanse yourself massively i'm hearing holy spirit saying you have to cleanse your energy and this is why you haven't been able to approach the other person also first you have to close this cycle with this fucking crazy psycho bitch it's a psycho i'm seeing a psycho bitch someone with long hair she has long hair long hair some white caucasian chick i don't know some of you it's like your family or friends hook you up with this shit Someone who's into pop. I know I'm seeing pop art. I'm not even in that section. What the fuck? Someone's into uh, art? I'm seeing super, superficial. Yeah, superficial. They don't want to change. They don't want to heal. They don't want to do anything. They're karmic. That's what it is. They're teaching you a lesson. And right now, the lesson is you need to have boundaries. You need to create boundaries. Uh, see, that's why I'm into the art of alchemy right now. You need to alchemize this negative energy. Everything this person is doing, whatever is costing you, whatever is trading you, you need to cut the shit. You need to cut this fucking cycle because if not, you will regret it. Some of you I'm hearing, it will be the regret and agony and misery of your lifetime because you are denying yourself happiness. Your divine person who is already is being guided to be moving on with their life okay and that's it your person that's it that's some of you that's your worst fear well it's happening if you don't let this fucking shit go if you don't stand up for yourself if you don't close this fucking cycle close this fucking cycle you know who it is pray to god to know if this is your confirmation if this is your message but you need to have strong as fuck boundaries with this person also the same he's saying the same thing with your family with a sister you have a sister that's like this also that are constantly in your energy a brother what the hell brother a mother you have a fucking toxic ass fuck family and that's exactly what you attract because i'm healing that they're all teaching you a lesson you need to have boundaries you need to honor your peace protect your peace protect uh, you know have your alone time and have people respect if they don't then that's not your problem that's their problem they need to deal with their own fucking shit you have work to do you're gonna lose a lot of opportunities and your person your soulmate someone you pray for some of you you pray for this like god is saying you pray for this and now you're sabotaging it you're putting it on the side for this for this that is just a lesson but you're not closing it because you're too comfortable 
then don't complain. Whoever you are, don't complain. Okay? I pray for you. I hope that you able to let this message get to you, whoever you are. But you know who you are, who I'm talking to. You're dating a fucking karmic, a demonic someone who is just for a lesson. You know this because they don't stop fucking calling you, texting you, knowing where you are. And if you don't answer, they go fucking crazy, right? They could be a little bit of verbally abusive, but you're used to that because your family is like that. You think that's normal. Let me tell you something. Go talk to somebody who is not related to your fucking clique, so not related to your fucking family, okay? Go talk to anybody. Tell them your story. And I'm telling you right now, they're going to tell you, fuck that shit. Hmm? That's how a lot of people learn about that they're living in a, that they're normalizing a narcissistic abuse or they're around narcissistic abuser is when you go outside of the clique of the little normalized fucking status quo, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And then you realize when you go to therapy, the therapy is where they, oh, okay, let me tell you. They straight up tell you, all the people, all the real friends, your real friends, will tell you right away, fuck that trash energy. If your friends are telling you to stay with this fucking karmic, they're not your fucking friend. They want to see you miserable, depressed, and fucking like that. Also, what the fuck? We're not living long here. Why would you waste your time and your energy with fucking shit like that when you could be happy? This is what I don't understand. Why? Why are you letting the devil win? Look at that. Is that what it says? Is that what that says? Oh my God, it says the devil. <laughs> I did not plan this. What the fuck is this? Deep into an art. Look. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that nigga. Fuck that bitch. But this is what it is. You're stuck. That's why it, this is what it is. You know, so Jesus and then there's Jesus right at the top. You see what I'm saying? I'm right here. I don't know, but you're here, but I'm here. Okay? Okay? Okay. I hope that's clear. You're stuck with a demon, with a fucking karmic demon. You know who this is. Cut it off. That's how you have to, someone you need to cut. It's an immune snake. Cut the snake off. Cut the head off. How do you do it? Just tell them what it is. Tell them, I need my time. I need to just show them boundaries create boundaries with this person and you'll see their real demons come out narcissists snakes they can't stand fucking boundaries because they don't have none they don't have intuition either especially this person who's been doing witchcraft and dark magic on you and your person they're not covered by spirit they're fucked and guess what as soon as you close this cycle their fucking karma is coming and if you also, it's already coming. That's what Spirit is saying. It's already coming. If you stay around this, you're going to get it too. You already are dealing with some karma already for sticking around with this fucking shit. You are divine. Know your place. Okay? Know your worth. I love you guys. I hope this message helped. Bring some clarity, some truth to somebody, whoever you are. You're better than that. You're worth a thousand more. Know your worth. Okay? And stand up for yourself. And it's okay to have boundaries and you're good enough okay you're loved by so much heart. i wasn't supposed to do this and look at this the universe god loves you this one doesn't give a fuck about you that's what wants you to keep you stuck with this karmic shit okay go change your mindset change your environment because honestly it will help you a lot okay god spirit is hilarious okay after you break up after you close the cycle family member whatever the fuck Whoever you realize that you're in this energy, they're saying go cleanse yourself. Um, they're saying you have to move certain items from your apartment, house, whatever you are, whatever you're living, whatever this person has touched anything in your apartment. Uh, they're saying there's a few items in your place right now where she have cursed them uh, so that you don't break up with them, so you don't let go of them. So this is also a spell as well. Okay, this is why you can you can't you feel like you can't break this off this is how you do it also get some uh, holy water anointed oil um, any anointed oil anything um, pray you gotta pray you gotta talk to you gotta repent okay um, definitely do some cleansing bath okay with uh, eggs and salt uh, lavender chamomile rose uh, rose petals um, he's saying have crystals 
if you can uh, rose quartz is good it's very healing uh, malachi i usually wear it all the time malachi um, definitely if you are a pisces you definitely need to have uh, amethyst okay not necessarily if you have pisces or not but if you have pisces in your chart amethyst is going to clear things out it's going to clear better your intuition um you need to learn how to alchemize so go google things how to alchemize this energy negative energy anything sadness breakups whatever negativity anything that because these people are going to retaliate once you stand up for yourself so what i'm telling you is to prepare yourself to start loving yourself and self-care yourself so that you can withstand this meditate okay 20 minutes a day because they're projection of negative energy once you start like if you you know you separate yourself you ghost them you you really cut them off this is gonna help okay um you start day by day just loving yourself each day okay uh whatever you can um if you love books or you love doing art go do that go do anything that artistic that uh, creation helps with alchemizing and transmuting of uh, negative energies in production so whatever if maybe if you're a musician or you're an artist or you're a writer or um I don't know something that you do with your hands okay make sure that your hands are busy and your mind is busy so you don't think about this uh, maybe talking to somebody could be a therapist if you can or you know new friends someone who you can trust um, definitely reading a lot okay um, but absolutely praying okay and definitely cleansing yourself saving your space sage palo santo uh, use incense um, do a cleansing like 21 day cleansing of whatever addictions that you have so if you have any addictive tendencies like drugs alcohol uh sex or i don't know anything addictive you know yourself you know use this virgo energy for that because virgo is very nurturing and very good with uh, self-discipline and also getting things straight so if you start it from now you'll see that in 21 days you'll be good to go um and let's say make it a habit or rigid to just cut things that are not toxicity they are not healthy that are in this disgusting energy because it's disgusting like don't you feel disgusting you don't want to feel like that all the time you want to feel inner peace you want to feel love you want to feel unconditional love so you have to start with giving that to yourself okay um and yeah just google anything to create more self-care more self-love within yourself uh you know give yourself love right now okay that's really it because i feel like what you're doing is sticking along to to people places and things because it's like you seeking for that validation from the external or something like that when you should be giving that to yourself you know what i'm saying and the devil's using that a lot for sure especially they want to keep you away from your person who is actually your divine partner okay your divine partner is already like i'm already feeling her energy like they're woke okay and some of you are getting there it's just like you're resisting to the change you know you're resisting to your healing but other than that i gotta go someone's making me faces that they want to need to be quiet <laughs> i love you guys i hope this helped good luck with everything take care be safe do the right thing you got this i love you god loves you the universe loves you divine loves you okay especially if you choose in the divine you're choosing yourself okay Heal that inner child, okay? Absolutely. You'll see the difference, okay? Focus on you. Fuck everybody else. Seriously. Seriously. But how do you do that? When you start your healing, you start creating boundaries. But you have to start with somewhere, okay? For real. I'm seeing somebody calling you at this moment right now. And I know it's this person. <laughs> While you're watching this. That's fucked up, man. Whoever you are, that's fucked up. You don't have a fucking life. Do you? Do you? Do you have a life? Ask yourself that question. Can you be by yourself like this and being happy just by yourself, single and minding your own business, healing yourself, working on yourself, doing your own thing? If that makes you uncomfortable, this is where you need to heal. This is why you seek these toxic people, females and stuff. Especially females that are like karmic in nature and like, ugh. That too, man. If the sex is, if the sex is not good, what the fuck are you doing? That's what I'm wondering. Why do people stay in relationship when the sex is not good? Are you serious right now? Like that, I, I'm like, I'm like, I asked like double. Like I have to confirm. I'm like, wait, are we talking about like 
because I know God is not into like he doesn't want he wants people unions right but that's why he has hopes for you whoever you are masculine you ask for forgiveness right you're praying for this like I'm hearing someone praying at nighttime like help me get rid of this thing well how can God help you if you don't help yourself he's trying to help you but you have to help yourself hello <laughs> hello Love you guys. Peace.